good day everyone I think most of us are waiting this character to release That is our first ninja Welcome our copy ninja Avance Rukawa But first I have a great news for us Currently Huawei App Gallery is having an event this is a brand new platform for us to download various apps and games. It can be used by Huawei's phones and also for Android phones or emulators too. And now, they have an event for UK, New Zealand and Australia players. If you are located in Canada, USA or Ireland and are interested to join the event, you can change the service country in setting to UK, New Zealand or Australia. And now, you can enjoy the benefits of this event. This is 80% off event for £5 package, which is this one. This event is started from 18th of March and ends on 31st of March for the year 2021. Means we'll spend £1 and getting £5 cash value. This is the very best timing for the first time top up. We can have double vouchers too. What we can do for 500 plus vouchers? First, we can get Ryota Miyaki profile. Second, we can buy two season passes, especially to buy the season pass that including characters jersey. It only needs £1 and we can get it all. Best of the best timing. How to participate in this event? First, we have to buy the Dina account. At the login screen, click on the user account or we can click on the setting in the game and the user account option is located at the bottom. After that, we can see our Dina ID. We can create our own password. Don't forget the Dina ID and password and we can log in anytime, anywhere, any device. Second, after our Dina user ID and password has been set, then we need to download Huawei Apps Gallery which we can download directly after we press the share link under this video description. Next, reinstall slam down mobile game through huawei apps gallery don't worry we have the dina account id all resources will still remain in our account there will be a new icon on your phone delete the previous game shortcut to avoid confusion if we have found there is a system error while we are installing the game please try to uninstall the previous version next click the share link and claim your rewards Last, top up the £5 package and the discount voucher will be used automatically. And now, we have to pay £1 and enjoy all the mentioned benefits. If you have top up, please print screen and send it to me. I have a gift code for you, but with limited amount. Faster come and grab it. Please do not hesitate to contact me in Discord if you have any questions. Wait a minute guys, I still have another good news for EU players. A new tournament is prepared by Slam Dunk EU Discord. The Slam Dunk Mobile Season 2 tournament for the year 2021 will happen during the weekend of 3rd of April and 4th of April 2021 in collaboration with Huawei App Gallery. Join Tensai Sento Twitch channel where you could get until 200 gift codes during the whole tournament. Are you ready for the excitement? See you there guys! Please do not hesitate to contact me in Discord if you have any questions. Okay, back to our copy ninja. Let's look at his attributes. I put normal Rukawa stats side by side. So we can see almost every stat are increased by 2 to 3 points. However, jamming rate is reduced and still stat is becoming very bad. So he is not belongs to Thief anymore. In order to defend Shooter, he must do the blocking. Let's go to his talents tree. First is Blink Drive. If a cool kid without a dance move, then they never be cool. So I will advise to upgrade until Ultimate Drive, which allow us to use ulti directly when driving. This is a crucial skill in order to use his combo smoothly and we have no choice but to add the driving layout and the reverse crossover move. Any talents will mix Rukawa's ulti can be performed more smoothly will be important. Rukawa's ulti is a new mechanism. He doesn't need to accumulate energy. It's a cooldown type ulti. So long the rival has score, he can copy the scoring skills. Like fast dunk for a fast dunk. Although the pump fit and drive is very useful too, I will skip first. If not, his cost will be very expensive. If facing Maki, those drives will be useless. Since Maki is so popular, I will not waste too much resources on it. No matter how we dance, no matter how we drive, our bobo will get stolen. Next is Awaken Pass. This one can be very cost effective. Only level the fixed shoot and pass and reduce the chances for being intercepted will be sufficient. The ulti pass, I feel like wasting our ulti. We will wait, wait, wait our long ulti cooldown time just for a passing. No good, no good. However, the last big talent note is very important. She can trigger a a pass when our scoring is getting blocked just like Fukuda Mocha's talents. If his scoring skill is getting blocked, there will have a probability that he can pass the ball to his teammate. It's an auto trigger skill and the last few notes are increasing the chances. But we have to use too much resources to get there. So I will skip first. 
X will be his blocking, just like Kyota's blocking talents. It's almost the same for the big talents nodes. So I will just sum in the nodes increasing blocking range and skip the gem rate in order to save costs. Last big node is a new mechanism. So long a once Rukawa has copied and used the scoring skill, he can block the scoring skill more effectively. Kind of new concept for the game. Next is Fast Shoot. This will be his core skill. And almost all the small nodes are increasing the accuracy, so we have to level all. And this branch will consume a lot of resources. I will skip the confidence three pointers. It requires another 10 characters card. This skill allows us to shoot 100% wide open trees. After we score 9 points, it can be reduced to 7 points requirement by adding the small nodes after that. Is it good? Yes. The last note is, if his confidence trees was blocked, the next requirement will further reduce 2 more points, means reduced to 5 points. We will unlikely to use it, so I will skip first. Next will be sliding dunk, just like normal Rukawa, first and second point dunk. Now first point, Rukawa can choose between driving layout or dunk. Then second point will be 180 degree spin layout. This is the most flashy skill for his basic scoring skill. And I will just recommend to upgrade until the second point layout. The tipping in dunks are amazing. It even has two types of animation for tipping in. I think it will affect the effective range too. However, we will not have much opportunity to use it. So we can skip it too. Although it looks cool, especially the windmills dunks. But we should focus on his ulti more. Last will be his Sharingan, his ulti skill. This branch I will recommend to upgrade all is his core mechanism. This branch of talents already cost us 420 red training cards and 35 characters cards. All the big talent nodes are useful, either to copy rivals ulti more perfectly or reduce the blocking timing. This is insane as well as the cost. So I will recommend to upgrade until can copy the basic scoring skill first. Actually, what is basic scoring skill? For example, like Monkey Fast Dunk, Fujima Step Shot, and Sentos Layout, etc, etc, etc. Game winning ulti will copy upgraded ulti from the rival, like Akagi's ulti that can bump rival away, like additional animation from Kengo ulti's dunk. Perfect copy is even stronger. It will further reduce the blocking timing. So a once Rukawa is strong, it's just because of his ulti. Too many variation. To recap the priority, first I will recommend Awaken Pass. Just fix shoot and pass. Second will be fast shoot or accept confidence tree. Next will be sliding dunk until second point layout. Next will be his ulti. If got resources or if not just minimum spend to copy of basic scoring skill. Number 5 is blocking and the last one is blink drive. All of his talents are great. I can't really rank them. If you focus on ulti then blink drive, ulti and awaken pass are the priority. But it will cost us a lot and not able to do anything while ulti is cooling down. If full ulti is upgraded, total cost will be 1325 red training cards and 101 characters cards. I will take 450 full cost to summarize the cost, but there is a discount to 400 diamonds each for his talent cards, which require about 45,000 diamonds. If just minimum spend on ulti, then it will only cost us 995 red training cards and 71 character cards, which equal to 32,000 diamonds. Is he worth to buy? Yes. Just the cost is my only concern. This is not cheap to build him up. Without proper talents, he is not that good. Almost all advanced characters are worth to get because it is another level. If you enjoy the content, please give me a like and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys, I will be back.